This is Cairo 7 Eyewitness News at 5. It sounds like a script straight out of a James Bond movie. Customs agents detained what they believe to be a high-tech spy van trying to make its way through Washington. North Sound Bureau Chief Tricia Manning-Smith has the exclusive story live in Blaine. Susan, if you take a look at the outside of this van, you'll see that it sure doesn't look like anything suspicious. But take a peek inside. Customs agents say it's loaded with surveillance equipment, and there's the potential that it could have fallen into the wrong hands. There is some assembly required on this, and a lot of the electronic equipment is contained within this box here. State-of-the-art high-tech equipment, including a sophisticated radar device concealed in this metal box. And it would be really advantageous to a third-world country that's trying to determine whether or not warships or other vessels are approaching their coastlines. Those inside are fully concealed, so the surveillance target may be caught unaware. So you could pull into an area, set up, um, basically get a picture of all the vessels that are traveling through the area and depart without anyone knowing. Customs agents say when a 25-foot mast is extended, the surveillance van has potential to do more harm than just spy on warships. It also could act probably as a targeting device. You know, it's assisting terrorism or our military operations. Agents detain the van at the Blaine Port of Entry under violation of international traffic and arms regulations. The driver did not have proper licensing paperwork. The van came out of Vancouver, British Columbia, en route to Tacoma, where it would have been shipped to Taiwan. But that may not have been its final destination. We have no idea where the ultimate destination of this uh, vehicle is, and our concern is that it wouldn't be further diverted to an unfriendly country. Now the Customs Department is waiting to hear from the Vancouver, B.C. company that tried to ship this van through the U.S., ultimately to Taiwan, and from there, who knows. Then the U.S. State Department will determine if any penalty should be meted out to that company. Reporting live from Blaine, North Sound Bureau Chief Trisha Manning-Smith, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. Reporting live tonight. U.S. Customs officials are investigating the circumstances surrounding a high-tech truck being shipped into the states from Canada. The vehicle was detained at the Surrey truck crossing earlier this week. It was being shipped on the back of a flatbed truck to a freighter in Seattle. The truck is equipped with all sorts of high-tech equipment, including radar and a global positioning system. U.S. law allows for the detention of any equipment destined to leave the country which has military applications. We all know that cigarettes are being banned from right. Well, thanks for that, Michael. I'm sure you're happy about <laughs> yeah, it. Really? Thank you. Okay. It is undoubtedly one of the strangest seizures of a U.S.-bound Canadian shipment American Customs has ever made. Customs officers in Blaine have detained a van outfitted with high-tech spy technology. But as Catherine Pope reports, anyone who's surprised at spy technology being exported from Canada shouldn't be. This is the van U.S. Customs recently seized at the Blaine border crossing. It is filled with state-of-the-art surveillance equipment and sophisticated spy technology that Customs says could be used in military applications. The well, best we can determine, this is used in some sort of uh, surveillance of uh, vessels. And it would be really advantageous to a third world country that's trying to determine whether or not warships or other vessels are uh, approaching their coastlines. The van was being shipped across the border by a trucking company, but officials aren't releasing any information about which Vancouver company was delivering it or who was buying it. We do know that before customs officials intercepted it in Blaine, it was headed for Tacoma. From there, it was to go to Taiwan, but there's no way of knowing if that was its final destination. There's quite a bit of high-tech surveillance equipment manufactured in Canada, uh, quite a few companies specializing in it, and, um, you know, a lot of Canadian companies are exporting this type of equipment around the world. Who's buying it? Um, everyone. Uh, a lot going to Asia right now. Tobin Ohashi runs a local spy store that specializes in surveillance equipment. He says he can order in just about anything for his customers, including a fully equipped van similar to the one seized in Blaine. I think a lot of equipment is being exported from Canada. Um, most of it is completely legal, though. It's going to government agencies or other governments. 
In fact, the RCMP say they know about the van, but it's not under investigation. Still, some surveillance equipment which is legal in Canada isn't in the U.S. The Americans are concerned it could wind up in the wrong hands. And this uh, van here we determined had definite military uh, applications and that's why we detained it. And it also could act probably as a targeting device. You know, assisting terrorism or our military operations. The latest strange twist in the Clinton-Lewinsky scandal is still ahead tonight. And